Remember I was talking about the um, about the brickwork. You can see all this. I don't know what they call this, but the scallops of the brickwork at the top, and uh, you know the arch window. What's it called? Yeah, I'm learning a lot, but you can hang around me anytime. Uh, but uh, that and the you know the arched windows and stuff. And again, again, it's a factory in the middle of the Buffalo River, you know. It's beautiful. Yeah. They, you know, yeah, they put a little aesthetic value. I just had money for being 1906. I'll scrape the walls. Yeah. Usually they'll do a bowl and they put them in. Yeah. Or I, I was standing looking down or just uh, just down there, it blows out. I can't believe and the mortar between the joints from 1906 till now. Yeah. How intact they are. Yeah. That blows me away. I think it's like uh, three or four layers thick, too. The wow. And you, when you look around and you look at all this, most of the work, the majority of the work, that was 12 inches by 12 inches. It was hooked to a conveyor or a belt system. And um, they were spaced 25 feet apart. They ran continuously 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And when the guys wanted to go to the top, 120 feet to the top, they stepped on that 12 inch board, grabbed the line, and it would take them up. When they wanted to come down, they went around, they went to the other side when it was going down, stepped on this 12 inch board, it would take them up. I don't think OSHA would There was no OSHA back then. This is kind of neat. This was um, this was created. They actually created. They had a live um, play here uh, last week, and it was like you know like a hobo type uh, thing. And they put a projector on this side, and they projected this camp up on the uh, silos, and they had a live play out here. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Um, this section over here, this is called the lake and rail. This one here is in full operation right now. In 2002, it was owned by a company, uh, it was called River Right Energy. River Right Energy, what they were doing here is they started an ethanol plant. That didn't work out too good. It, financially, it wasn't working too well. So Rick Smith, the owner, sold it and he sold it to a commodities company. What they do with it now is they and they have they're storing wheat right now. It's almost full. They've got two more ships coming in. It should be full. But in the summertime, when the price of the wheat is low, they'll fill the elevators. And hopefully, if they did it right, in the spring when the price goes up, they sell it. So that's, that's what they use these for. We're going to be these uh, elevators over here. This is called Elevator A. this brown building, this dark brown building here? This one here was uh, basically like an office building. For which company? I believe, I'm not 100% sure, mm -hmm. but I believe this actually this belonged to the property of Stanford. Or I'm sorry, Lincoln Rail. We talked about the cars with the hoppers on the bottom. This is a really mm -hmm. good example. Yeah. This is the only rail track that's actually coming in and out of uh, Silo City right now on this side of the Buffalo River. So it's just that one track is coming in and out. At one time, Buffalo, Buffalo's rail yard was uh, second only to Chicago in how many trains we move in and out of here. At one time, we had trains either coming or going from Buffalo every six minutes of every day. If you ever saw it from like the Skyway or you're on the Thruway and you look down and you see all those rail yards, especially if you're traveling on the 90, you'd see all of that. And this is the security guard? Yep, this is uh, Jim. Uh-huh. He's our uh, caretaker. Uh, okay. Hey Jim. Hey Rick, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, how's Champ doing? Well, he's a pain in the ass. 
Yeah, he had about 25 co-ed school of architecture to have pet them today. It's he a good looking dog. dog went straight to the girls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, go take a look at it. No, no, it doesn't look Hey, Chan. Yeah, hey, Chan. Oh, he's See us? He's posing. Chan. We got an 18 year old girl what sitting here. Is it? Ah, I don't care. What kind of dog is he? He's posing now. He's beautiful. He's got the camera and he hears a click. You'll get the pose. He's gorgeous. Oh, he's being very nonchalant about it right now. Oh. <laughs> I'll be. Oh, hey, no more fear for you. Put it in. Oh, yeah, he's playing hard. Yeah, he's playing uh, hard again. Oh, look at that. Oh, there oh. you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're in front of me. I'll give you a good one. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. He's saying, actually, he's looking, he's saying, take me away from here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's okay, a beautiful uh, You look friendly. Hey, Rick, real fast. <laughs> Did, um, Just Buffalo talk to you about their event next Saturday?